You suffer occasional fires. Your animals are killed. That was us rebelling against the slave master. We were setting the uh, slave house on fire, things of that nature, trying to get away. He said, you rallying them up. Y'all are doing the wrong thing. Watch the method he's going to present to them, and this is why you like to wear pants today, and you refuse. You think that marriage is impossible. Watch this. If she shows any sign of resistance. If she shows any sign of resistance, read. In submitting completely to your will. If she refuses to do what you say do, if she don't want to submit to your will, read. Do not hesitate to use the poor whip on her. Do not hesitate to use what? The poor whip on her. See, don't hesitate to whip her with a bull whip. Read. To extract that last bit of bitch out of her. Damn, they extract what? The last bit of bitch out of her. You see how they talk to us? Our women? Read. Take care not to kill her. He said, whip her, but don't kill her. Read. For in doing so, you spoil good economics. He, he let them know when you kill them, you waste some good products. You see what I'm saying? And he showed you some things that you may not have been privy to. And we out here for our, for our people, so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians. You witnessed what happened out here the other day, right? right? And he's showing you why is that cycle, the cycle continues. Bring it up. So he went into the dress code, which is part of the law, right? So check this out. Give me the book of Ezekiel, chapter 16 and 10. Because you was like, I don't, I don't wear a dress, right? And I, 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 I see you. When you look at people like Princess Diana, Queen Elizabeth, right? Have you ever seen a queen with pants on? Right, but my question is, have you ever seen her with her pants on? Queens don't wear pants, princesses don't wear pants, right? Watch this, let me show you how God ordained our women to be. Check this out. Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 10. Uh -huh. I clothe thee also with broidered work. The most high God said, I clothe you with broidered work. If you know anything about clothing or material, broidered is very expensive. We have fell so low, we think we wear Gucci, Louis, that's nothing. Right. Read it again. I clothe thee also with broidered work. With broidered work, read. And shod thee with badger skin. Badger skin would be equivalent to your meeks today. Right. A meek. He, we was we dress, I'm talking about royal. Read on. And I guarded thee about with fine linen. With what? Fine linen. If you know anything about linen, linen is one material that you can wear winter, spring, summer, and fall, right? You know? What a lot of people don't know about linen is that in the wintertime, it absorbs heat, keep you warm. Right. In the summertime, it keeps you cool. Right. Bring it out. A lot of people don't know that. Linen is expensive. Read. And I covered thee with silk. With what? With silk. You know, silk is a fine material, right? Yeah. This is how we used to dress, but we forgot we fell so low in this captivity. Right. Read on. I deck thee also with ornaments. Look at the words that you, the Lord used. He did what? I deck thee. I deck. Back in the day we say, man, he decked out. Right. The Lord said, I decked you with what? Also with ornaments. With ornaments about your jewelry. Yeah. Our jewelry game was on another level. Right. right. That forehead jewelry that you see the East Indians wear, they got that from our women. Right. Read it, out. Read it again. I deck thee also with ornaments. Uh-huh. And I put bracelets upon thy hands. He had bracelets on our on our women's hands. Read. And a chain on thy neck. And we wore real gold chains, real silver, real diamond chains. Read. Right. And I put a jewel on thy forehead. You see that? They, the East Indian women got that from our sisters. Read. And earrings in thine ear. Uh-huh. And a beautiful crown upon thine head. Talking about your head cover. Women had the understanding that whenever the Bible was being ministered to them, they would cover their head. You see it today every once in a while. Today, it's the, people, the women starting to catch on. They look at it as a fashion statement, which it somewhat is, but it's actually a law that you cover your head when the Bible's coming out. Read on. Right. Right. Thus was thou decked with gold and silk, uh -huh. and thy raiment was of fine linen. Raymond is clothing. You use mainly clothing, fine linen. Read. And silk. And silk. And broidered work. Uh huh. Thou didst eat. Uh, again, broidered work. Is, turn around. You see this? You see I can touch that? It's, it's, it's like 3D. That's broidered work. You good? Come on. Thou didst eat fine flour. And I diet. Well, we 
we used to eat, we took care of our diet. Right. We didn't go to Popeye's chicken. We ate our diet was on point. Right. Our women physique was was uh, was fine. All right. Read on. And honey and oil, and thou was exceeding beautiful. He was what? Exceeding beautiful. At one point, the women of the nation of Israel was exceeding beautiful. That's why when you read the history of the Bible, all the other nations always wanted our women. That's right. Esther, you, you, you familiar with Esther? The other nations wanted Esther so bad. He kicked his main, main squeeze out and took Esther. Right. All right, who else? Uh, Judith. Judith, she was another beautiful sister. Naomi, another Susanna. beautiful sister. Who? Susanna. Susanna. The list goes on and on. Joe, even Eve, believe it or not, Eve was bad. Right. right. Read on. Exceeding beautiful, uh -huh. and thou didst prosper into a kingdom. Into a kingdom. I mean, when, he, when we walked, when people looked at us, they knew that we was of royalty. Right. Read on. And thy renown went forth among the heathen. That means when people saw you, they looked at you as if you was famous, and everybody talked about you. Did you? What's your name again? Did you see Wanda? Man, that dress she had on, her train was dragging. Right. Everybody talked about you. Right. How beautiful you were. Bring it out. We invented the red carpet, except right. it was the gold rose. Right. Read on. Right now went forth among the heathen. Among the who? Among the heathen. Meaning the other nations talked about us, how beautiful we were. Right. They boasted and bragged how beautiful we were. Read on. For thy beauty, for it was perfect through my comeliness. God said what? It was perfect through my comeliness. God said you are perfect with that dress on. You are perfect with that head wrap, with the head jewel, with the bracelets, right. with the ornaments, right? You know? But what happened? i tell you what happened. Willie Lynch happened. Right. All right? Willie Lynch happened. Right. We got the, give me the Willie Lynch letter real quick. Give Come me the book you. of um, Isaiah 3 and 17. Thank you. Watch this. Because it's, it's, it's something that took place. The book of Isaiah chapter 3, verse 17. Uh -huh. you know? Therefore the Lord will smite thee with a scab of the crown of the head of daughters of Zion. The daughters of Zion is the women of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanic Native Indian women. He said he was going to curse your head, your hair. Read it again. Therefore, the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. The Lord said he was going to curse the women hair. That's why today, our women run to, uh, what's it, Sue Ming, uh, Lu, Lu Chow, all the beauty supply stores. Me, Ming Lee, y'all go by the Remy, y'all go by all those weaves to cover up your real hair. Right. Why? Because y'all you know. know that your real hair is stout, it's short, it won't grow. Right. Read it again. Oh, I got perfect. sisters, I got sisters. I'm a woman. Exactly, that's why I'm addressing you. Li read, read, listen, listen real good. Bring it up. That's why the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. You see that? Read on. And the Lord will discover their secret part. Their what? Secret part. What's the secret part of a woman? The vagina. He would discover your secret part. Why is he doing this? Because our women rebelled. They didn't want to put on the dress. Right. They refused to wear the dress. Right. So he said, you know what? I'm going to curse your hair and discover your secret parts. Watch this, read. Verse 24. And it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Now remember, he said he's going to discover your secret parts. The vagina area, right? Read. That instead of sweet smell, instead of the sweet smell that it's supposed to have, there shall be stink. Shall be what? Stink. What? Stink. Some of Eve don't work. That's right. just, that's a counterfeit product. Please. That product is it's a counter. It's like a. It's, it don't work. Bring it out. It don't work. Bring you, it out. Oh. Our women think that they can say you wear pants, throw a little summer Eve down that baby, and put the pants. Do you know tight pants cause yeast infections? Yes. I'm not saying you got one, but tight pants causes yeast infection. Bring it out. Google it. If you don't believe me, Google it. See? He brought out the dress code. Let's, re let's read this. The Willie Lynch letter. Uh -huh. The breaking process of the African women. Wow. Did you hear that? Read that again. The breaking process of the African woman. You know who wrote this book? Who wrote this? Willie Lynch. The word, you ever heard of uh, somebody being lynched? What does it mean to be lynched? Getting hung. That was him. Right. Matter of fact, give me the very beginning of this book. Hold that page. Give me the very beginning. Watch this. This this white man here, he took slavery to another level. Right. He, under, he looked at us as commodity, as stock, as finance. Watch this. Read what you got. The Willie Lynch letter, page five. Gentlemen, 
I greet you here on the bank of the James. This is Willie Lynch addressing all the slave masters. Watch what he tell the slave masters. Read. In the year of our Lord, 1712, uh -huh. first, I shall thank you, the gentlemen of the colony of Virginia, uh -huh. for bringing me here. I am here to help you solve some of your problems with slaves. Read that again. I am here to help you solve some of your problems with slaves. Said, I am here only to help you solve some of your problems with slaves. The the, no, he didn't use the Bible. I'm gonna show you, he finna show you what he used. Watch this. Read. Your invitation reached me on my modest plantation in the West Indies. That's Jamaica. St. Thomas. All right? He had the, our brothers and sisters in slavery. Right. And he had them. He had them control, and he finna show you how he had them control. Read. Where I have experimented with some. He did what? I have experimented. You ever heard of Sarah Bartman? Did I say her name right? Yep. Sarah Bartman. They made a, a human museum out of her. They opened up her vagina and they studied it. Cut, her, cut it up into pieces. Read. Experimented with some of the newest and still the oldest methods for control of slaves. See that? Our women don't realize today that they are being controlled. Read. And ancient Rome would envy us if my program is implemented. Now this is him being proud. He said, he's so, he so, he so confident in what he's gonna uh, present. He said ancient Rome would be jealous of what he got. Because ancient Rome was capital punishment. The cross, the crucifixion, that was them. Watch this, read. As our boat sailed south on the James River, uh -huh. named for our illustrious king, whose version of the Bible we cherish. He was referring to King James, read. I saw enough to know what your problem is, not unique. Watch what he say, read. While Rome used cords of wood as crosses for standing human bodies along its old highways uh -huh. in great numbers, uh -huh. you here are using the tree and the rope on occasion. He said, y'all using the tree and the rope on occasion. Watch what he tell him, read. I caught the whiff of a dead slave. He said, I caught the whiff, see how this wind blowing? He smelled dead bodies when he was talking to him. He said, I caught the whiff of dead slaves. Read. Hanging from a tree. Watch what he tell him. Read. A couple of miles back. Read. You are not only losing valuable stock. Read that again. You are not only using valuable stock. He said, by y'all hanging your slaves, you not only losing valuable stock. Read. By hangings, uh -huh. you are having uprisings. You are, read. Slaves are running away. Uh -huh. Your crops are sometimes left in the fields too long for maximum profit. Right. They be, they basically didn't really know how to enslave us properly. They was losing money, crops, and they was losing too many slaves. Like, hangings, right? Read. You suffer occasional fires. Your animals are killed. That was us rebelling against the slave master. We were setting the uh, slave house on fire, things of that nature, trying to get away. He said, you rallying them up. Y'all doing the wrong thing. Watch the method he finna present to them, and this is why you like to wear pants today, and you refuse. You think that marriage is impossible. Watch this. Read. In my bag here, in this bag of tricks, read. I have a foolproof method. A foolproof method. Watch this. For controlling your black slaves. Mm. Watch this, read. I guarantee every one of you. He said, I what? I guarantee every one of you that if installed correctly, it will control the slaves for at least 300 years. How long we been in America? Bring it out. You gotta think about that. See, he, he got, he got, he, the man has so much confidence and when he presented, he said, I guarantee if you use this right, it'll control the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians for at least 300 years. And how long we been here? About that time. Read. My method is simple and any member of your family or your overseer can use it. Uh-huh. He said any member of your family, who you think, who you think he's talking about? Any so-called white, which is Edom, he said, anybody in your family can use this. And they're using it today on our jobs. Read. You all right? I, I have outlined a number of differences uh -huh. among the slaves. And I take these differences and make them bigger. Uh -huh. I use fear. He used what? Fear. Fear. You see how you just jump? You like, he used fear. He used that. Read. Distrust. Distrust. You know how you want, There's certain sisters you don't trust. Or brothers, I don't trust him. I don't trust that car. He used all that. Read. And envy. And what? And envy. And envy. Look at her. She thinks she's she looking. I got them same shoes. She ain't rocking them right. Read. And envy for control purposes. For control purposes. All that is to control the mind of the Negro. Read. These methods have worked on my modest plantation uh -huh. in the West Indies. In the West Indies. I told you, Jamaica, St. Thomas. All right, read. 
and it will work throughout the South. Throughout the South. Where your ancestors from are most of them? Mississippi, Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, Georgia. All right, go back to the making of a woman. Slip. Watch this. The breaking process of a woman. Uh-huh. Speed it up. Take the female and run a series of tests on her. Take who? Take the female. Take the female. And do what to her? And run a series of tests on her. Run a series of tests. You know some of them tests is today? Section 8. Right. Uh, low income housing. Uh, public aid. EBT. Those are tests, believe it or not. Right. Watch this read. Test her in every way. Uh-huh. Because she is the most important factor for good economics. Uh-huh. If she shows any sign of resistance. If she shows any sign of resistance, read. In submitting completely to your will. If she refuses to do what you say do. If she don't want to submit to your will, read. Do not hesitate to use the poor whip on her. Do not hesitate to use what? The poor whip on her. See, don't hesitate to whip her with a bull whip, read. To extract that last bit of bitch out of her. Damn, they extract what? The last bit of bitch out of her. You see how they talk to us? Our women? Read. Take care not to kill her. He said, whip her, but don't kill her. Read. For in doing so, you spoil good economics. He, he let them know when you kill them, you waste some good products. You see what I'm saying? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.